Alrighty, guys, we're back up. I think we're live. It shows we're good. I have no idea what happened there. Like, I just forced, like, lagged out, disconnected. Never seen anything like that. <laughs> what I think this we're be good. More than enough water for our purposes. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. That Islin was able to help us. Her strength with the water spirits has always been a strong one. She is also wise, and rare is it that the spirits do not agree with her purpose. The fact that both of them have blessed our task gives me hope that we are on the right path. Now you must return to Jadenar. The braziers are more than likely spread throughout Shadowhold. Douse each of their flames, and the protections the Council has set up will fall for at least a short period of time. I will be waiting for that to happen. When it does, I will look deep within the hold, and try to find out who the head of this beast is. Then, and only then, will we see about attacking them directly. So we gotta douse the flames. I think they're, they lie within the areas. I'm not too sure. But yeah, sorry for the disconnect, guys. I'm not really sure what happened and why it ended. But, yeah. Nether guard, at least some level. If he wants to die. That's my reply now. Why in the blazes would you do Nether Great? Nether Guard, Keith. Elites. At 53. I mean, like, yeah, we gotta go into Blasted Lands, but that's just killing animals. Died at level 1. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're here at the Satyrs. This will be fun. You know, we want to definitely take the back door. Be curious where the back door is. You can go all the way around here and around the back of their camp but you should be very very cautious while doing this for those guys anytime you're in this camp these shadow stalkers will pop out and they apply a mean poison to you that you have to be very very aware of Like, anywhere you think there should be a mob, like right here, because we can see that mob right there, and we can see these two right here, probably a stealth mob in between there, to which we'd be very cautious. And they roam, so we also gotta be careful of that. Or patrol. So we wanna grab the patrol. And hope we don't get a little extra mob. These mobs aren't too crazy. Oh! <laughs> if only. <laughs> I can't believe that dropped, man. 
if I was an alchemist or could use that. If I was like a warrior or rogue. Save that and trade it at 60, please. I need to look up the immortalization process. Because I'm going to do that just because it puts my name there. And I just really want to prove that I can do it, you know. No appeals on official as well as uh, trading. <laughs> trading by far will be the thing that'll hurt it the most. This place is literally so terrifying. Like you just walk and bam, dude attacks you. Oh, we got a demonic rune. Let's go. We can end ourselves that way. I guess we put it all the way over here for the very, very clutch moments that we might need to use it. This is the back door into Jadenar. And I think we have to turn this in and go kill Xavius. Uh, I think. Could be wrong. It's been a while since I've done Fellwood quests. Oh, that's a Wailing Cavern's death. 
Drew it at the fang. Oof. <laughs> Look at that. I got a cool kitten. It's just a common kitten, you know. Totally not juiced up by Fell at all. I wonder if the cat stays with you. And they give you fly away or like how far can you go with it? Then I think those are oh, the, these might just be in the um little caves areas which makes it not that difficult if that's the case but we're just getting to that point where it's pretty scary all the same Oh. Leap, jump. Oh, song flower. Alrighty guys, so an important thing to note when you're getting Songflower here in Felwood, if you make it this far, is that if you have a buff, say it has 6 minutes left, you need to remove it, and then you need to grab it. If you just simply grab it, it will not refresh your buff, and you will just grief your timer. So, you'll consume the Sunflower timer, and you will be unable to grab it. So, very important that you do it, uh, that way. What is it? Remember. Excellent. The Forsaken will resort to any means necessary to Yay. crush the Alliance. The use of the corrupted water will surely prove useful in our future efforts. We're getting ruthless out here. But we will go check the... Um, we'll check real quick what we gotta do. Or, you know what, we're just going to head up to Moonglade, do this quest, and then probably call it a day and do a little bit of fishing. On the road again. Headed up to Felpaw Village to go fight some furbog friends. On the road again. P 
TSA. Don't drink water and don't posture check. Yes. Cattywampus says possible. Why did I just sit down to drink water? What am I doing? What am I doing? You know, I probably could have took a shortcut, like, but in hardcore, probably should stick to the road. Level 69 Elf Warrior. Why Night Elf? Who knows? You know, Night Elves can't Shadow Meld in combat in Classic. I didn't know that. I thought Night Elf was a great choice. But the fact that they can't, not so much. Not so much at all. We almost have enough rep to be unfriendly with these guys so they won't murder us. But pretty much you just do the quest down there, you do the quest up here, and you're set. We got demonic rune, so uh, we can end our life if we have to. We have found the Timber Mahold. These fur bogs can't possibly want to kill us. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, they're 53 to 54. That's fine. That ain't shit. These Furbox actually have good quests that you can do, and there's some good vendors that sell stuff as well. And we have a friend here. Just write PM and be like, I got your back, you got mine. Maybe, just maybe, it'll work out. We got 18 fur bugs to massacre. Okay, so they call for help. It's very important to know. Because if you're not aware that they call for help, then you very, very easily could end up pulling way more than you want. Like so. And we shall slay this mob. Oh, 
Oh yeah, the totem. I forget where you turn that in at. So only the watchers call for help. None of the others seem to be. I like that we got the totem on literally our first kill. Oh, we gotta get them to neutral. Sheesh. Some good rewards, though. Wouldn't be a bad rep to grind. There's no real purpose, honestly. Just to say we did it, I suppose. <laughs> they do give you quests, and we do have to mob grind at some point. So, like, might as well get a rep out of it as well. Die, mobs, die! Oh, oh, oh. That is not what we want to see. Level 55 right there. No siree. Superior mana pot. Okay, moving up in the world. That's gonna be our super oh shit buttons. We'll just stack all the oh shit buttons over there. And hopefully we never have to use them. Or we get to the point where our oh shit buttons become just standard buttons. These Avengers are 55. That's why the quest is 55. So they're three levels up on us, but once we're unfriendly, we can just go in. Get to Moonglade, the mission we needed. Healing reduced by 50%. That's a terrible curse. Mark of the Chosen OP. I know I don't need a mana pot here. There we go. I was about to say, if I have to mana pot just from killing one mob... Ooh wee. That'd be rough. Died to a raging rot hide. You know what? Time to do the best way to kill these mobs. 
Yeah, we'll just pull this guy away first. Give me your mind. Hiya. Hiya. This Sin Watcher isn't doing too hot. And he used all his mana fighting his friend. That's how you do it. Oh, I wonder if the shaman can take... Let's see if a shaman can fight an Avenger. That'll be fun. You know, since we need to kill three Avengers and three Shaman now, and no more Den Watchers. Alrighty, come here. You're under my control. Oh no. Oh god. Alright, we're out of here. That's a reset. That's a no-go. That's an abort. Just for fun. Let's see if fear pulled any extras. It did not. But I do not want to pull this wolf. So... There we are. Always be paying attention, guys, even when you think you don't need to be. Because, like, these mobs just spawned here. And because of that, it ruined that plan. Huh. She got chat banned so she can't join a guild. Oof.
<clears throat> Die, Avenger. Die. Alright, we need two shamans and one Avenger. Oh! Blazing Invader. That's a feel bad. Dude was just trying to farm for his archmage robes. Whatever robes. I'm not sure if Archmage are... I'm not sure if they're class specific. No one is shadow damage, one's just everything damage. And they need essences. I did not want to fight you, Avenger. So, instead, you're going to go fight for me. Oh, God. Thank you, Jaden. We're seeing how this works. Finally, it broke. We almost just got hyper spawned on, man. That would have sucked. That would have been a major oof. Ooh, 12 stam, 12 spirit. I think we'll use. Nah. Maybe, though. Jay, and you pumped for official? You actually doing the Alliance Guild? Alrighty, and now we should be able to go through here and please these these pesky fur bogs. Oh, crit pants or crit head. Do we have enough feathers? Oh, we do. Perfect. Alrighty. So now we're unfriendly. Oh god, there's no... 
Oof. Well, the Winterfall one would be fun to do. We just can't do that. But we have made it to the place, the goal, the thing we wanted to do. Oh, yeah, you can't even trade with them yet because they're not, uh, we're not friendly. But the mission was a success. Gorn One Eye there. Kurnda. But we can go to Moonglade. This is how everyone else gets to Moonglade. You can death run through this if you really want to and get there earlier. Or if you're lucky you have the um the lunar festival that'll teleport you here. But other than that, it's get to fifty ish and grind out the Timber Maw rep quest. But we can get to there and we can get to Winter Spring, which pretty cool. And then we can have all of the flight paths in Kalimdor. We still have to do Selethus, but we'll get there eventually. And ta-da! We have made it to Moonglade. The reason Moonglade is good is there's lots of fishing here that you can do. And I have this quest I want to turn in before we do anything else. Where would you like to fly right, to? I'm gonna go use the restroom. We're safe in Moonglade, pretty sure, but just in case. Back again. We've made it to Moonglade. Turning this quest that we've been holding on to for so long. And we can explore Moonglade. If you're a druid, you can just teleport here away earlier. 10 XP. Huge. That's it. Just, just give him that. Fat XP says nothing, no follow up. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. We've discovered Night Haven. I am listening. Some more glory, more than do. Can't hurt. 
Hello. One of these vendors sell some uh, important. I can't remember what the. It's like an enchanting recipe. If you're looking for information that the Cenarian Circle might have archived somewhere, then I am the one to talk to. Then again, you need to know what information you're looking for first before I can really help you. See how that works? Brilliant. Whoa. Dude's getting a little feisty. Ah, uh, Lake Alunra. Where you fish to your heart's content. Where all the loot drops for you. Jerry, do you want to do Duel? That's what me and Jerry are playing right now. Wow, Jerry. Alrighty. We keep questing. The only challenge we have is that hard one there. And then we pretty much just have... I mean, like, yeah, we have these quests. This we can't do until we're neutral. So we just abandon that quest. Hopefully... Okay, it doesn't get rid of our totem. That's good. Do we go? I think we could. I mean, like, we could get there, probably. There are some mobs, but, like, nothing can be sculled to us anymore. So, might as well go there. We can get our room cloth bag recipe. You know, the fun stuff. Could kill a bunch of these f guys to uh, hurry up, hurry along the XP. I might just do it. It's good cloth. It's good XP. We gotta do some farming. It's not riveting at all. It's that or go to Ungoro. Kind of running out of places to go. I mean, Angoro will be a whole day. I guess we have a jar still. We should do those. Actually, that's where we go next. To a jar. Did I not have a quest to go here? I could have swore I did. Huh, what the heck? Niffin. That mother. Oh, Den Watchers, Shamans, and Ursa. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's all there. <laughs> really push our limits and do that quest early. So I guess it abandons it if you do anything other than run straight. Very peculiar. Very peculiar in the...
<laughs> Is it timed or something? The threat of corruption comes out on uh, if you wish to further aid to speak with Sophia on the other side of the hold by the winter spring entrance. Follow the path to the left to reach it. I have no idea how this is the path to the left. Be warned, if my kind considers you hostile or hated, they will attack. Travel as quick as you can, avoiding conflict. To kill a timber maw, even in self defense, will only alienate you further. I wonder if these are good XP to farm. I pretty much always do it the proper way, but like, I wonder. You'd have the area to yourself, no one would ever contest you. cold here. It's quite cold. See, we're not really gonna do this quest ever, but yeah, it would just simply fill up our log. We'll come back. It'll just be a little... Any peeps? Is this like what we have to explore here? Or is it the camp? Hi. Hello. What brings you to Winter Spring? These cold and vast lands may seem dismal, but this is a place of many secrets. I came to Winter Spring to investigate the Frostfire Hot Springs. I've noticed that the water seems to have strange qualities. I haven't yet been able to discover the source, and to tell you the truth, I've had some difficulty lately. Do you- Oh, King Mosh almost just ripped. Oof. I I would hate oh god that sucks. That's so sourced about Angora. I'm scared to quest in Angora. So many mobs there that'll just eat you. Timber Mall Post. So you're supposed to go follow the road. I chose not to. But you know, these are good XP. You know, it's like a quest in itself to explore an area. Oh, 35, Strangle Thorn Veil, Makosh Warmonger, oof. A lot of people think them that mages are easy. 
Dude pulled one and splat. I know exactly what he did, too. It was pure accident, but... Aren't these invade? What are the elemental?